Yes. Uh -huh. We got light. I need light. We do. It's we out just, there. We just had it. Oh. <laughs> See that? Mm -hmm. She's almost gone too far in that one spot. Okay. Oh yeah. I didn't see it from back here with the camera. Here's another one. Here's another one. Is it just a super... Okay. Yeah. It's thin. It's thin. Yeah, they've almost taken all the 17s. They're, they're not too off, so it's not oh, too thin. Okay. You can see the abrasion right on top of it. You know, you can see already where you're that starting to work. That was there yesterday. That's why. Well, yeah, we had, a, we had a couple of those nicks. Yeah. But you can see already down in here. I think these are the nicks that were there yesterday. Uh, these were. Was it these? Yeah, yeah. I didn't notice those at the top. But... This is one of the reasons that I prefer to have the backlight, yep. because those pop right out, and you never have to worry about uh, you never have to worry about uh, blowing through the skin that way. Because mm -hmm. uh, trust me, I've blown through a fair number of skins. <laughs> yes, and uh, you know we're doing it. We're just the sacrificial lamb, as it were, mm -hmm. the goat that we're doing right now. This can this piece came off Julie, if I can remember correctly. Just yeah, so I can tell by the different tones from the different tools that we use. But, uh, yeah, what, yeah, so, yeah, what, yeah. it is, whenever you're working on, still. like an 11 by 14 or an 8 by 11 piece, you can actually get a more even distribution of sanding. Yep. But you have to be careful on the corners, or you will crease the crap out of stuff. No, can you gotta be really careful. sand it all the way out to here, or is this pretty much place? I'm gonna lay out this part right now.